Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Code Break. Today we're going to be creating a file editor using PHP like the one you see on your screen here. So let's jump into it. Alright guys, so we're starting off here with a blank screen, right? And here's our files right now. This first episode is going to be um, mostly just the HTML and CSS. So if you want to see more of the back end side of it, go ahead and skip to the next episode because this is going to be a series. Hopefully we can get it done in about three videos. We're going to keep it pretty simple here. Just hit the basics, and that way you can build upon it, uh, like I have in this example here, which has tons of features and all sorts of cool stuff. All right. So first off, let's start off by creating a sidebar. All right. This is going to work. This is going to be where you see all your files and all that kind of stuff. So right now we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to have a header gonna say editor on it and then down here we're gonna have all our files and obviously we're gonna want to dynamically load these using PHP but we're not gonna do that yet all right so next we're gonna want an editor and there's a lot of cool editing plugins out there but the one that I'm gonna be using is called ace editor Sorry. okay and so I'm gonna show you what that looks like and how to get that so over here, this is the Ace Editor. It does all this for you. It does all the coloring. It does all these lines. It does tons of cool commands that go along with it too. And so it's really easy to do that kind of stuff with it. So let me show you how to find that. You just go in here, you type Ace Editor. Should be one of the first things that pop up. Go ahead and go to Embedding Guide over here. You scroll down. And you're gonna wanna go to these pre-packaged versions. Okay. Go ahead, um, fork this, and then download it like I've done. As you can see here, we've got both, right? I'm going to be using the SRC min no conflict. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. And I'm actually, once this is done, I'm going to rename it just to ace, just to keep it simple. All right. And now all I have to do, pop over here. And we're going to include that right here. It's going to be ace slash ace dot js and now we have access to that so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're actually gonna create an onload like that that way when the page loads we're gonna run this function and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do editor equals ace dot edit editor and this right here is gonna be the ID of your editor and so let's make sure so nothing works right now but let's let's start with our we gotta define some stuff in here first start off with that and then we're gonna go down here we're gonna do our sidebar we're gonna we're just gonna okay we're gonna do 18% and full height alright oops forgot the forgot the clone there now let's go ahead and set the background to red, just so we can see that. Copy that. Paste. Editor. Okay, this is going to be 82%. And I'm going to set both of these to position, absolute, left, zero, top, zero. This one's actually going to be 18. Now let's see. Okay, cool. So. Let's delete that real quick. Because we know that it's worked. See how there's... We now have an editor right here. And it works perfectly fine. So, there is a little issue here, obviously, because it looks like I put the editor inside of the sidebar. And <laughs> we do not want to do that. So let's take that out of here. Okie dokie. Oops. Let's go with that. There we go. Now it's the rest of the page. And we have our working text area editor thing. Perfect. Thank you, Ace. So let's work on our sidebar a little bit more here because, again, this episode is going to be mostly the HTML and the CSS. So we're going to put some mock files in here for now. And this is going to be basically what our files will look like. So uh, test.txt. So let's, yeah, let's put a bunch of files in here. And we'll put some, let's put some folders in here too. So we're gonna have a test folder. 
gonna have a test two folder, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna give these a class of folder like that. Actually, no, they'll all be file, and then what we'll do is we're gonna have an image, and I'm gonna have to go grab that image here in a sec, but. We're gonna have a resources folder, and we're gonna have SVG images here for this. Okay. So, let's go ahead and make that resources folder right now. New folder, res, and I'm not gonna show this uh, just because it's annoying, but I'll show you the website I use. It's called flaticon.com. They've got tons of free vector images. So I'm gonna go through here. Oops, and I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some some images for our editor. So I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see here, I got a bunch of different images. I found a pack, actually, if I can go back here, and it has all of the images for each different file type. So we're going to be using these, and I also have this save image and this folder image. So that's what all of these images are right here, and they're all in SVG form, which is exactly what we want. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in here, and we're going to change this to folder, and these are all going to be, what we'll do, text, we'll have it HTML, a CSS, and JavaScript, just to test this out. So let's see here, CSS, oops, too many S's, and JavaScript. Okay, so let's go back over here, and look at that. Alright, now we need to do some styling on those bad boys, so let's go ahead, go over here, dot file. Alright, so we're going to have a width of 100%. And we're going to have a padding. Uh, we're going to do about 10 pixels on all sides. And then, of course, let's set our box sizing to border box so we don't overflow. And let's just make sure we can see that. Perfect. Now what we want to do is we're actually going to... We're going to set the background position. Sorry about that. Um... Okay, the background position, we want it to be, let's say, 5 pixels from the left and in the center. We do not want it to repeat. Oh, I saw it. There we go. No repeat. And we're going to set the size to about, let's do 24 by 24. So let's just see what that looks like really quick. Alright, now we've got that over here along the side. And then next, we're going to want to move the text over. So let's add some padding to the left here to fix that. So we've got 24 pixels plus 10 on either side, so that's going to be 44 pixels. Oops, sorry. Padding dash left. There we go. And there we go. Look at that. Um, what I want to do actually is I want to make this 10 pixels. Give us some more space there. Alright, so this is kind of what this is going to look like. We're going to do some more style with this. I'm going to go grab a better font than this, and I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. So, I got a font here, and this is the, like, Apple system font. Uh, I just copied this from somewhere. So, yeah, you can use whatever font you want. It doesn't really matter. It was just really bothering me that it was the default font. So, what I want to do now is I want to make it... I want to give the, these files a little hover effect, just so we know that we're, we're hovering over them. So, I'm going to set the background to, like, slightly darker color here. Like that, maybe. That'll probably be good. So now we hover them, we get that. Oh, whoops. We gotta do background color. I'm gonna make this lighter actually. We'll do 0 0.06. Um, let's go ahead and check that out. Yep, that looks good. Now let's give this also. Oops. Cursor pointer. Now it'll be like that. Alright, that looks pretty cool. Alright. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna move this to the center. So that's bothering me. So we'll do sidebar h1, or text align, center, let's actually set the font size, actually the font size is fine the way it is right now, so we'll just leave it like that. Okay, cool. So, we've got our sidebar, we've got all of our files loaded up here, and what we're also going to do is we're also going to style this a little bit more, because this is pretty bland. And it's really small as well. So if we go over, to, if we look at our ace thing, I'm not actually going to look at it, but you can set uh, settings 
but some of them you can set in CSS as well. So you can set the font size in CSS like that, and now the font size will change to 14 pixels. I'm actually going to do 15. I'm going to set the line height to 1.2m. That'll give us a little bit more space between the lines. So there we go. That looks good for now. Um, I think we're pretty much done here for now. We're going to be going on to the next episode, and we're going to be doing some more of the PHP and actual functionality of the editor. So I hope to see you guys there. Thank you for watching.